Tyler, the the heat, uh, various things happening on this track. A lot of people said there was a something like there was a bump in three and four. It's been there for years. Yes, there's a How, big bump. Was it especially bad today, or what would you no, say? No, no. People just uh, teams just don't build right race cars, and um, yeah, they, they get to that bump and they bottom out and they crash. So I mean, I, that, that that bump's been there. Team just getting too aggressive and not having the right balance and the right set up in their car. All right, what happened in that pit stop? Because you had ultimately lost some ground there. You did pass Hamlin back, but then the caution come out. I mean, what would you, how would you rate your day? Because you kind of went back a little bit, got back up there, and then ultimately now you're in the top five. Yeah, there's a lot of things to look at, but ultimately it didn't um, cost us the win. At the end of the day, it was the restart. Uh, we lost control, unfortunately. Yeah, there's plenty to talk about. Carson Hosevar, you got you a good finish here today. Uh, what was your expectations, and where do you expect to vote on Jeff Gluck's poll this week? Uh, I, I don't know. Um, on Jeff's tweet or whatever. I'm um, just pumped for the 77 bunch. Um, we weren't top 10 speed. Uh, it just reminded me a lot of uh, how we won here last year. I mean, we ran in the 20s all day and, and struggled. And obviously, really tough to pass. And then find ourselves in the right spot with a yellow and everything and restarts. To, you know, it's not a win, obviously, but... Uh, I, I feel like win and, and tenth, win and trucks is about tenth and cup, or some, there's some sort of equation there. I uh, just had a lot of, lot of feelings towards that day, obviously. Uh, proud to get this bunch a, a really good finish to hold their head high on. And I asked, uh, I asked Tyler Reddick this, the bump in three and four, was it especially more noticeable today, or what would you say? For me, no. Um, obviously, a lot of guys spun out there, especially when they tried to run the top. So. Uh, maybe for their cars, and, and that's maybe where we're lacking. If that it's you know, all the really good guys, from the second they get out front, they spin in three and four. But um, for us now, your perspective, just how hectic were all those final restarts? Seem like you're able to get in the right line, or just make up some positions every time. I was just glad I wasn't the one causing the chaos, Eric. Um, that's, I, I was just I knew I was I didn't want to get greedy. I knew we were. When, after I got spawned, yeah, we think that it was damaged and we just were really tight the rest of the day. That, um, the way the track position obviously worked out, I was like, all right, you know, I'm, just, I'm okay running 12th. Like, I've never said that really ever in my life, but I didn't want to get greedy and obviously put anybody in a bad spot. Still obviously new to this and um, thankful that we were on the right end of it, but obviously it's super chaotic. Can't really pass and I think everybody kind of knows that if they don't, they might get put three wide or four wide even, so um, just nature of the beast. I didn't see where uh, your teammates finished. I know they were all in the top 15 there towards the end, and I know Zane was up in the top five, so for Spire, it seemed like a great day. How important is this for your the team overall? Oh, it's huge. Um, you know, we have a shop bonus, um, you know, average of 20th, and a lot of other criteria. We got in the first five races, and we're on the next five, and um, it's just big to put money in their pocket when we run well. There's a huge bonus program and obviously they win on trucks and they get some money in their pocket too. And, um, that's big and, and but more than anything just our mile and a half package I think is where we can hang the most but also we need to qualify really well especially in a place like this where it's just really hard to pass. Short track's working on it obviously super speedways. Spire's good, I don't feel as good but mile and a half so I feel like we're all three um, feeling pretty comfortable. William, it's, uh, it's not a win like last week, but it is another good run, awesome season. But how good does that feel also to get a, one of your teammates in victory lane today too? Yeah, no, it's good Good for those guys, man. They, uh, they've they worked um, really hard, and, and all of us are, are really continuing to push the ball forward. So just got to uh, got to continue to, to put the effort in and, and continue to bring fast race cars. And our race car was a little bit off today, but we found a way to, to rally and make it work. So. I'm proud of that. I've asked everyone this. That bump in three and four, was it especially more noticeable today, or what do you think? Uh, it's about status quo. Uh, they've been they've been about what they what they were today. So um, cars are just really close to the ground, and uh, the tire's super hard. All right. Thanks, William. <laughs> Chief Alan Gus 
Ferguson, and of course, Hendrick Motorsports. So we'd like to first make you the true Texas to Dick tradition and honor a Texan. Thank you.